Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Assam Job Point. Today I will discuss about the Garo tribe of Assam. This is part 8 of my video series Tribes of Assam. Garos. They are a major tribe of Northeast India. They form the second largest tribe of Meghalaya after the Khasis. They are mainly found in the five Garo Hills districts of Meghalaya. In Assam, they are mostly found in Kamrup, Gualpara, and Karbianglong districts. They are also found in some districts of Bangladesh like Maimen Singh, Gazipur, Serpur, Silher, etc. As per 2011 census, their total population in Assam is 1,36,077 and in India is 9,97,716. A small number of them are also found in the neighboring states of Tripura, Nagaland, and West Bengal. They belong to Mongoloid racial stock. It is believed that the Garos first migrated to the Garo Hills from Tibet around 400 BC by crossing the Brahmaputra River and finally settled down in the river valley. They prefer to call themselves Asik or Mande, while outsiders now prefer to call them by the name Garo. Linguistically, they belong to the Tibeto-Burman language family. Originally, they had their own script, but they lost it due to famine. They speak their own Garo language. They use the Roman script. Their language has 12 dialects like Au, Ambeng, Ruga, Sibok, Matsi, Dual, Gara Gansing, etc. Their main occupation is agriculture. They basically practice zoom cultivation or slash and burn agriculture. Currently, most of them are involved in other occupations such as shop, keeping, parlor, government service, mechanic, labor, business, etc. Their main agricultural products include paddy, cotton, maize, millet, pulses, etc. Their staple food is rice. Some of their favorite food items are kosu, dried fish, bamboo, shoots, sweet potato, pumpkin, gourd, banana, etc. Their favorite drink is Tsubichi, fermented rice liquor. Most of the Garo people follow Christianity. Only a few sections of them follow their traditional animist religion, Songsarek. A large section of the Garo people are also followers of Hinduism. The Garo society is matrilineal and the children take their mother's clan. In Garo society, property is owned by women, but its management is generally done by men. In matrilineal Garo society, the women play the role of a nokma, head of a particular community, clan in a village. They enjoy rights over land and natural resources in an aking land, community, land or area. In Garo society, most of the decisions 
are made by mothers although more women are involved in workforce the head of the family is a male as per custom the parental property is inherited by the nokmesik the youngest daughter as per custom the groom leaves his family and moves to the bride's house to start a married life the youngest daughter stays with her parents after marriage generally the youngest daughter is known as nokma and her husband is called nokrom the garo tribe is divided into five exogamous divisions called satsis among them only three are more important they are marak sangma and momin these satsis are further divided into many masongs clans some of the masongs of the sangma satsi are agitok amphang koksi manda etc some of the masongs of the marak satsi are sada kama koknal raksam etc some of the masongs of the momin satsi are seran gabil gare megon gare etc the garos observe strict rules of clan exogamy marries within the same clan is strictly prohibited cross cousin marriage system is prevalent among them divorce is permissible do monogamy is a prevalent form of marriage polygamy is also permissible widow remarriage is acceptable in the garo society child marriage is not present in their society traditionally the garos built their houses from locally available natural resources like bamboo cane timber wood dried palm leaves etc each man of the village builds his own house with the help of his family and fellow villagers their main house for living is called mandi dong sakanok or thwani nok or thuram nok sleeping house traditionally their houses are constructed on a bamboo masang platform 3 or 5 feet above the ground facing the east direction besides the main house they also built a barn jamnok or mizam a cow shed matsu nok or gonghali a shed for firewood ambol nok kitchen misung sakanok traditionally the house is roofed with thatched and plastered with mat the youth dormitory among the garos is known as nokpante where young boys receive informal education the traditional dress of garo women are dakmanda daksari eking a short cloth round the 
waste, tarvan, etc. Nowadays, they are also seen to wear jeans, sari, t-shirts, pajamas, etc. On the other hand, the garo men use jeans, t-shirts, shorts, sador, tarvan, etc. Traditionally, the men used to wear a loincloth. The ornaments of Garo tribe are Sangong, Bengal, Rigitok, Necklace, Dome. The plume feathers of the Vimras bird or the Kok, Naderong earring, Nariki earring, Natapsi earring, Zaxil elbow ring, Senki white waist, Bent. Nadong B or Sisa, Penta, Pilon, etc. Their main festival is Wangala. It is celebrated to show gratitude towards their main deity, Mrs. Salzong, Sun God, for blessing his people with a rich harvest. It is a post harvest festival held annually in the month of November. Wangala festival is also popularly known as the festival of the hundred drums. Performance of Wangala dance is an integral part of this festival. Some other important Festivals celebrated by them are Annual Winter Festival, Nokpante Festival, Megaru Festival, Domahi Mah Bihu, Song Christian Dance, Galmak Goa, Agalmaka, etc. Music and dance are an integral part of the lifestyle of the tribal Garo people. Group songs are Kudare Sala, Hoaringa, Inzoka, Azia, Doroa, Serezing, etc. The dance forms include Azema Roa, Misua, Sambil Moa, Dokrusua, Same Mikang, Nia, Kambe Toa, etc. Their traditional musical instruments are broadly divided into four groups idiophones kakwa nangilsi guridomik kamal jakmora nogri etc aerophone winds instruments such as adil singa sanai kal bolbizak illep or illip Olongna, Tarabeng, Imbangi, Akok or Dakok, Bangsirori, etc. Cordophone, stringed instrument such as Dotorong, Sarenda, Sigring or Bakring, Dimsrang or Kimzim, etc. Membranophone, Ambing Dama, Sisak Dama, Atong Dama, Garagan Singh Dama, Nagra, Kram, etc.